Hi Collective, welcome to my channel, Cosmic Divine Seeker. Hi everyone. So this is going to be a post full moon reading for the sign of Leo. So anywhere you have Leo placements is fine. Even if you're not a Leo, but the title brought you in, then you're on this vibrational frequency, right? We all have a Leo placement somewhere where it could be that this reading is resonating, you know, with a connection close to you and they have strong Leo placements. You never know, right? That's why you trust the reading that you're guided to. Okay. So, um, I wanted to label this one post full moon energy. We're within 48 hours of this full moon in Sagittarius. So I'm curious to see what's going on. So we've got the eight of cups here. Interesting with the Knight of Pentacles. I feel that somebody is starting to walk away. This full moon, I feel, got somebody a strong realization, maybe revealed something. It could have been internally. That Eight of Cups could be somebody that's energetically pulling away. It doesn't mean that you physically pulled away, but maybe you're one of those where it's like you got to get your ducks in a row. You have to start strategizing you have to start planning because i'm getting this energy that you need to be kind of calculated very cunning very sly i'm picking up like fox spirit animal symbolism so you're kind of thinking like a fox or maybe you should look up the symbolism behind that right so they're showing me the eight of cups again with the fool card see somebody is wanting to walk away and they want a new beginning uh oh <laughs> that's why but see there's this three of cups there's this celebrating energy oh, wow okay it's like that all right <laughs> so literally like you got some sort of realization that you're bored something isn't doing it for you anymore leo you're realizing that you want something more you want a higher vibrational love leo you want a love that's in alignment with you so there's this three of cups that there's this you know celebrating having a good time whether you're realizing that you're just going to be by yourself leo and you're going to surround yourself with spirit animals um the, the familiars you're going to be spending time in spirit because there's a strong nine of pentacles energy where you know you're single you're independent you're beautiful this is like minor empress energy you're knowing your worth and queen of wands so you're in your energy look at you like a boss right <laughs> you're taking action or i'm getting you're just you're really in this energy of like you're standing up for yourself you're setting boundaries but yeah look you oh my gosh nines are so beautiful they're definitely about completion but they're about new beginnings you're in nine of cups and nine of pentacles energy wow leo this is beautiful if you look again here look she is touching her heart this has to do with matters of the heart see somebody is realizing that you know somebody didn't have i feel their heart <clears throat> or your heart like in their best interest so it's like this is where you're realizing that wait a minute like i'm not being loved right this so this is somebody that is healed You've been healing yourself, I'm getting, you know, you've been, see, she's like hugging herself. It's like when nobody was there to embrace her, she embraced herself. But by you doing this, you realize, I am a freaking boss. I don't deserve this half a, a love, this half cup of love. You're there one minute, you're there, you're not. This in and out type of energy. My last reading that I just did, I uploaded, I was talking about this non-committal energy and a shift of lovers. Could be in alignment with this one, Leo. <laughs> you might want to go take a look. <clears throat> so six of pentacles you want what's fair it's like you're almost demanding i feel like you're starting to tell the universe to divine what it is you truly desire leo she's sitting there on that throne because you know what that empress knows that she attracts to her what she desires she doesn't go looking for it a true leo in her power don't go looking for love she attracts it like the beautiful boss that she is right and I feel that's what, what you're doing now. You're just standing in your power. Look at how beautiful I am. I'm going to manifest a new beginning for myself. Oh, my God. So, yeah, you're, you're temperancing out energy. See how she's just sitting there beautiful? Look, she ain't even spinning those cups anymore, Leo. <laughs> I, feel you're, I feel that you know that you have already done so much work. You're just waiting to see it all. Wow. <laughs> this reading is, like, so scattered, which is so perfect because it's in alignment with this energy. Like, normally I've got my nice little spread going out, and then sometimes I just go all in and I freestyle. And you know what? Normally when Source does that for me, it's a very powerful energy. It's a really important, like, channeled message that comes out. 
they keep showing me this king of I didn't finish see something's not finished here with the king of cups energy it's like I'm scattered like this full moon has got me like so like excited and rubbed up like I'm having trouble doing things it's like I'm really scattered but I also have like a double eye infection so it's it's kind of difficult to focus because I was talking about this last night like isn't it like when one of your senses is down it, it affects it affects you on other levels just like how you know when when you lose one of your senses others are heightened I don't know what, why I felt to explain any of that to you maybe there maybe it's significant for you I don't know but see I feel they keep saying that because it's like I feel this exciting energy and then it was like I, I came to, I've been sick for like a couple weeks but I came out with an eye infection right and like I was like no I'm not gonna let that stop me from my full moon readings because I wanted to get them out for all 12 signs on my other channel and I haven't been able to do that for a while so I really felt like it was the enemy blocking me but then it was like I got I thought I got better but then I didn't but I was like I'm still not letting it gonna stop me right so to me it, it, it goes in alignment with that energy Leo that I feel like to tell you that you know, I just had to make changes. I was like, whatever. Nobody's clearly going to see my eyes. You know, I, <laughs> no way. <laughs> like, I don't even like looking at myself right now. It looks so awful, but I know that I'm healing it. I, I know that I'm getting better. I trust that. Right. So anyways, um, there's this energy, right? Where you, you, yeah, maybe it's better to let you know, like, even though you don't see everything, maybe because everything's not coming in um in the way that you would have hoped for it to um like happen like disarray it's kind of like uh, they're showing me the three of swords from this deck where it looks like a bunch of chaos and things being thrown all about but you're going with it because you know that it is uh it's breaking up stuff to bring in like what what's really meant for you this is a beautiful eight of cups energy because she's walking away right under that full moon but she's walking away like watch me walk away <laughs> that's the energy i'm getting from you leo strongest you walking away you might not have physically yet you may be starting to get things together because your life maybe is in total chaos right now and you don't know how to just physically walk away because you got to be smart right it's just like say you decide like i don't want this career anymore i really don't i'm gonna go after what i want you don't just go to work and like you know what i'm done here i'm gonna go pursue my dreams and passions bye because i mean maybe for some of you you feel empowered if you're in a financial position to do that all power to you leo but say you don't and you're like well okay well i'm telling myself that's it i'm gonna be a boss i'm gonna go after what i am passionate about damn it and you're like, so I'm going to start planning it. But, you know, like maybe you put in your two-week notice or maybe you're like, well, maybe I better wait so I got the job before I do that. And that's kind of what I feel like you're in because you know what? The best thing to do is to keep your plans quiet because when you start to speak, it's good when you speak them, but to yourself because when you tell people, people are envious, right? And then people start to send those secret projections your way, right? Because they're jealous and they're envious, right? So... It like throws hate your way. It throws more obstacles and challenges. So why not just not have any more? And Leo, I don't feel that you want to just bring some towers down for the fun of it. You know, like, so I feel maybe, you know, because to, to me, I'd rather be the Leo that leaves in the night out of this tower and not have to blow it up when I leave. You know, I mean, it's still, it's going to fall. Yes. But I don't want to be the one lighting the TNT, blowing it up. You know, I would rather just not, and I'd rather not be there when it blows up, you know? So it's just like this Queen of Cups is this perfect interpretation, Leo. Right? Of how I'm feeling. See, she is chained here. It doesn't look like it is, but she is. And if you look, she is chained to what's linked to the glass here. I always just, she is bound to that window that is linked to glass. So it's like for her to get away, she literally has to shatter that window because she's got nothing around her. So in her mind, I feel that she's been staying there because she's like, well, I don't want to shatter this glass. I don't want to hurt anybody. I don't want to cause destruction. I don't want to do this. So I feel she's been sitting there. But Leo, this is what I'm feeling that you're on the verge. Like you're ready just to say, screw it. I'm going to break this glass. I'm going to, you know, I'm going to crash this down. I'm going to leave. But you're thinking first. 
because before shattering that glass to me she's looking around at all of the resources like is there anything around me that can literally cut me free right here because if all I do is cut that little bind right there I don't have to shatter that glass I've got time to slip away into the night that's what I feel you're doing right now you're being very calculated let me see, too, if she has anything around her. I haven't really looked at that before. I know I don't see anything around her, but... Maybe. She took her crown off. Her crown is, is here on the railing, and it's under her hand. I think, Leo, that if she was to take that crown, she could probably break it, right? And she could probably get it sharp enough to cut herself free out of that bound bind. See, I was just going to say, Leo, if there was one for you, if there was somebody that was going to think the right of the situation, Leo could definitely would be you because you guys are, you're very strong, you're very... You don't like to give up. You, do, you will find a way, Leo. And look at how fast I did just by looking at the surroundings. Maybe that's a sign for you. Never seen that before. I'd break that crown. <laughs> I don't feel that you're into physical. Maybe for some of you, you know, you got to let go of possessions. And those don't mean nothing to you anymore because you don't want to be trapped. Like, she got the crown right there. She ain't wearing that crown. She's trapped. No, she don't care about that. That beautiful purple dress like if I had to let that dress go and slip out of that dress and escape I would do that too like this is the energy that I'm getting from you it may you know for me to say that that th this move may have you be very vulnerable what if her dress is caught and and you know because she's been there for such a long time maybe you have to be very vulnerable right leave something maybe you gotta leave all your clothes behind I don't know you know so um you can always get new clothes right there's this emperor here on the bottom of the deck. You don't see this. Maybe she knows that there's a lover she wants to go after. The emperor is what she, on the, on the bottom for me is what could be around you, which you don't often see or what's to come. Because it's like I read down to the future what the universe wants you to know. Either way, they want you to know an emperor here. There's a real emperor that's here. And maybe that's why you're chained up here because somebody's been trying to block you from them. Wow. What are, I don't even know, like, that's right. I got, I got, I was like, did I even do this bread for Leo yet? Like, literally, what happened? Because all of this has just been coming out. So, yeah, I've just been freestyling this reading. Well, you know what? Because I just seen the spread, like, I was trying to see if I, I did it for you. Let's go ahead and do it. So, nine of wands, six of pentacles. Yes, there are challenges and obstacles, Leo. But it, you're bringing in what's fair, what you deserve and desire. See how this Six of Swords, movement, travel change. That's how we're going to start it. This is about moving away. Moving away from troubling situations and people. Right? Double confirmation on that. There's the chariot. <clears throat> oh my gosh. Ten of Pentacles. <coughs> Seven of Pentacles. Oh my Leo. Hell yes. <coughs> <laughs> it's like taking my voice up. Like the devil don't want me to reveal it. So whoever this is, don't want me to reveal it. Oh my gosh, it's time. The seven of pentacles is divine timing, Leo. It's time for you to have your legacy. What was due to you? I'm getting like this Cinderella vibe. This is like this feels like Cinderella. Somebody that's like, you know, Cinderella, like she like chained in the basement or whatever, wasn't she? Wasn't she chained or whatever? Yeah, and like the fairy godmother, or whatever. Had to come like set her free and give her a beautiful dress like um it's been a while now i feel like i'm gonna is there a live action i've been getting into the live actions lately i want to see little mermaid so bad too i know i will eventually i want to take my girls to see it but anyway i'm getting distracted the devil look at this what what is this devil doing this devil is trying to trap her I feel that this devil has been influencing for a while to try to stop this Ten of Pentacles. Because you know, your divine team, your ancestors, your spirit guides, a lot of times they will protect your like your inheritance. For a lot of you, you have things that are destined to be given to you in this lifetime. Whether they're spiritual inheritance and gifts or physical like 
monies or like houses, jobs, like businesses, things like that. There could be some things that you don't even know about, but there's these cords, see? That, that it's like you have these energetic ties. You will not miss out on what is destined for you if you're in alignment to receive it. And the only way that you're not in alignment to receive it is when you got the devil blocking it because you will not be gifted these things for the devil to have access to them because why? Your spirit guides and your ancestors are protecting these from them. So if you're associating with these type of energies and these people, they protect it. It's like they have to. For some of you, these inheritances, okay, it's like they were due for like, like um for like your bloodlines but it's like nobody's been worthy of it yet so it's like it's been it hasn't been given and it's like it skipped generations do you know what i mean like um it's like for some of you it's like it was destined to be passed on to like your mother or your father but they were too consumed with playing games with the devil and in and, and karmic contracts they never broke free so it didn't get passed down upon them so it's like for some of you it's like your family your bloodline like they have been waiting for somebody to be worthy of this legacy and you are literally breaking that right now so you are like the generational curse breaker of your family you have this legacy and that is why the devil is attracting you so much my dears because of what you don't even know like what is to be bestowed upon you oh my gosh these readings are so amazing because uh, I never know how they're going to go. I get just as excited hearing this stuff come out sometimes. Sometimes I feel honored to give these readings. Sometimes I feel honored from like, wow, I hope I'm connected with that some way. Or I want to meet who's like who I'm reading for, who's connecting with me. So definitely, if you are subscribed to my channel, you know, comment below. Um, let me know what's going on if the readings are resonating. Because, you know, they're not always for you. Sometimes it's symbolic sometimes you take the message out of it sometimes it's a piece of it sometimes it completely is your entire reading right anyways a lot of us you know are yeah, I, could, I feel like I, I i float away sometimes i feel like any more crystal okay i'm gonna you can tell when i'm floating away here i can't stop talking that's the gemini in me all right okay so let's keep going with this reading. so page of wands here Yeah, devil is on here. So, um, you know, this is where you're acquiring things, right? This is the page that, you know, is getting that, that curiosity where you're wanting to learn. You're wanting to, to start new things. You're wanting to. So it's like somebody has, like, been blocking you from pursuing, like, your passions, your dreams. You're supposed to build something, create something, um... It's very exciting. It's very passionate. You'll know whatever somebody's been holding you back from. Whatever that is. It's time. You've put in a lot of work. I'm, I'm hearing um, a lot of time, a lot of energy, a lot of effort, a lot of... Um, and that's why that's like the sign of like fruits of your labor, right? That's why it is time for you to get this. But some sort of movement is required here. For some of you, it's a mindset, you literally have been self-sabotaging. Maybe you've been letting the devil influence you um, through drugs and alcohol, drugs or alcohol, or um, too much like um, Netflixing, too much on your phone, too much Facebook in, too much Instagram in. Uh, I don't know. Are you letting electronics consume you too much? Is it video games? Is it, you know, it could, it could literally be anything or it could be toxic people devil controls through toxic people relationships through matters of heart through physical things money resources right so it could be outdated things if we change it either way the moon should have revealed this or recently should have gotten some sort of realization of what this was so i don't feel this is in alignment with the reading but it's in alignment with this energy so let's see here three of wands five of pentacles king of cups and the wheel so for some of you, something is off at the distance, this page of cups, that's communication, some sort of offer of love here. But then, like I said, there's this king of cups and this five of pentacles. For some of you, you are connecting with like a water sign or somebody that's in this king of cups energy, very um, emotionally, could, could be emotionally closed off, not very expressive of their emotions. 
and there, there needs to be some sort of loss or um, a walking away or letting go. Um, in the wheel, okay, so I don't know. I just wanted to look at them. So like I said, yeah, Seven of Swords, for some of you, you're dealing with like <clears throat> a very emotionally closed off person that was being narcissistic and that could be that double energy that you're freeing yourself from. Or there's lies to, and secrets to come out surrounding a king of cups energy hmm. if it's not fitting leave it out like i said that i felt that kind of came out as like a side message right because i was told not to put it in here wow i see that empress <laughs> and queen of swords somebody is like on the verge like i didn't feel i seen her but i didn't feel the pull her out i really feel that you're on the verge to being in this empress energy leo but you need to communicate and strategize and figure out what you're going to do. It's like you have the strength and courage, so you have that sort if you need to use it. But you are you're in this energy of strategizing. This three of cups is here. This union, this celebration. It's like when you get into that, then it's like boom. Now you put your crown on as the empress, right? I feel that you've already been in your power at some point, but it's like you took it back off. You stopped embracing this power, this energy. Because okay, let's find out more. I can't keep it in. Seven of Swords, right back out under the chariot. See, so someone needs to let go of fear. Someone needs to make a break for it. Literally. Clarify the Ten of Pentacles. Haha, <laughs> interesting. So, see, it's like to get this Ten of Pentacles, your challenge, Leo, this is my challenge position, is you have to take a loss. You got to walk away. You got to let go of something to get legacy. <laughs> Isn't that like what paradox? Or, um, wow. It's interesting. Four of Wands. This has to do with letting go of family. Something to do with family, structure, home. Four of Wands. You've been waiting for something to change. Something to grow. But it's got to be released and let go. That's what's holding you back, Leo. Because it's a wrong. It's 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 not where you're supposed to be. The devil had you hung up in something you weren't supposed to be in. Three of Swords. So yeah, there's betrayal, heartbreak, or loss here. But look, what's on the bottom? Three of Pentacles. As soon as you let go of this, you, it's like you already have people waiting for you that you're going to work with. But see, Five of Cups is required for you to get this. Um, it's fair and it's going to bring it ten of cups so you elevate because we were seeing the nines right so you elevate you get that missing cup you're going to find what this person was not giving you it's part of your justice for you to receive this it's not going to take long two of cups is right here right next to the queen of pentacles and the moon so they could be revealing this to you. They could be re revealing that, yeah, you needed to have self-love. Somebody was putting you down. Somebody was getting you off track, off course. Um, I'm getting very strongly this devil was putting you, was controlling you through fear. So whatever that may be, whatever resources they got in control. Sometimes narcissists will do that. They'll fully get in control. They'll have you like get rid of your things. Uh, it's basically like say you had your own home, your own car, things like that. And then you get in a relationship and they're like, well, come move in with me. Sell your car. You know, I'm not saying all this is going to go narcissist. I'm just saying like, here's an example of how they could do that. You know, and then it's like, you know, then it's like for some of them, it's like, oh, I make more than enough to cover the bills. You stay at home. You know, you, you know, you do this now. Now it's happened. They've taken away like your, your, your money, your resources by having you rely on them. They've taken away your vehicle, your wheels to be able to leave. They, they had you give up your home. So now it's like, you know, you, they are in full control over you. And that's what makes people feel trapped because it's like, oh my gosh, like to get out of this, like I gave up everything. I, I gave up, you, you know what I mean? So no, it's supposed to be fair and equal and you'll know what you're feeling. Uh, you might feel guided to take a look at my other two readings. They are going to alignment with this energy of this stronghold from the devil through like a narcissistic person. It doesn't have to be a lover either. It could be a family member. 
um because we do have toxic family members i mean anybody that's of low vibration or indulges in too much drugs or alcohol has an addiction is subject to having that devil energy control and consume them and then they're agents of the devil so whether they realize it or not that's what i mean it could very much be family close friends co-workers or all of them <laughs> That's a big reveal. It could be your whole family. <laughs> it could be everybody you've ever known. No, I'm just kidding. Anyways, love and light to all of you guys. Definitely like, share, subscribe if you feel guided to any of those. And check out more of my readings. Alright, I love you guys. Bye.